Okay, look, I know that the term fix it in post makes most editors want to kick puppies, but let's face it, that's just part of the job. So here are five quick things that you can do in DaVinci Resolve to overcome mistakes that were made during the filming process. First up, stereo to mono. It's pretty well known that dialogue should almost always be recorded in mono, but what happens when you accidentally record in stereo? That's actually pretty easy. Simply right click on the track head, go to change track type two and select mono. Now you have a mono track. And bonus tip, if you right click your audio clip and choose clip attributes in the audio tab, you can choose whether you want the audio from the left or right channel of your stereo recording. Moving on, let's talk about those horrible jump cuts that happen when you're cutting out silence and filler words. There are a few different ways to mask those cuts and two of them are actually built right into DaVinci Resolve. The first is the smooth cut transition. Now this only works if your face and your hands are in relatively the same position at both the end of your first clip and the start of your second clip. If that's the case, simply drag the smooth cut transition from the video transitions folder in your effects library to the split in your clip. Drop it in, adjust the length, and you're done. The other way to fix a jump cut can be found in the cut page. It's called the close-up tool, and it's used to automatically punch in on your shot, giving the illusion of another camera angle. All you have to do is go to the cut page, navigate to where you want to apply the close-up, and then in the top left corner of the timeline, click the close-up tool. DaVinci Resolve will add a new clip on top of the original with all of the adjustments done. And the best part is, it does a pretty good job of maintaining the eye line of the original clip, making it a more seamless transition. Oh, and real quick, those jump cuts can make your audio sound more choppy as well. Now, the best way to fix that is with room tone. Didn't record any room tone? Well, today's sponsor has you covered. Artlist is a huge website full of stock footage, music, sound effects, video effects, templates, basically anything you need in order to take your video projects to the next level. And with an Artlist Max subscription, you also get access to Motion Array and the hit film NLE, which gives you literally everything you need. Artlist's AI search filters make it super easy to find what you're looking for. And no matter what you search for, you have plenty of options to choose from. And it's all high quality stuff too. Artlist has plans to fit any budget, including plans with an unlimited license that allows you to use their assets whenever you want, wherever you want. So if you're looking for room tone, stock footage, music, or anything else to help you finish your next project, just click the link in the description and check out Artlist today. If you sign up using that link, you'll get two free months on top of an annual subscription and you'll be helping out the channel. So, you know, win-win. Thanks so much Artlist for sponsoring this video and for supporting creators like me. And with all of that being said, let's talk about something that happens all the time when you film using a smartphone. Let's say you filmed a video, you think everything is good, but when you get the footage into your computer, you find out that you accidentally filmed everything in vertical. No problem, just select your clip, head over to the inspector and rotate the video either 90 degrees or minus 90 degrees, depending on which direction will make everything right side up. Then use the zoom to make the footage fit the frame. Okay, my next tip is kind of a catch-all. Some might call it a cop-out, but if I went into detail about all of these, the video would be way too long. Let's talk about footage revival. There are a lot of things that can happen to your footage when you're filming. Dust on the sensor, noise, dead pixels, chromatic aberration, lights flickering, you get the idea. Well, if you go to the color page and you open up your effects library, you'll find a section called Resolve FX Revival. And in that section, you will find tools to help with all of that. You've got dirt removal, chromatic aberration removal, dead pixel fixer, frame replacer, and even object removal for that annoying coffee cup you forgot to take off your desk before filming. So there you have it, five ways to fix it in post. But if you're filming and you've got somebody editing for you, or if you're an editor yourself, please, for the love of God, do yourself a favor, do your editor a favor, and just try and avoid all of these mistakes in the first place. It's greatly appreciated. Cool? Go check out this video right here to learn about audio cleanup. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.